this is Rob with SalesPay. In this video, I want to show you how to split documents with SalesPay. Splitting is useful in situations where different lines on a single order might have different conditions that would prevent from being shipped at the same time. For example, on this order, I can see that one line item is back ordered, but in addition to that, we can also have different conditions such as different shipping methods, different warehouses, uh, having non inventory or drop ship items. To do that, I can either come up here and select the um, and select the split plugin manually. As you can see, by default, it's not set to split on any on any of these conditions. However, if I start to go in and choose some of these conditions, such as back order quantities or some of the warehouses, shipping addresses, and so on, it will actually prompt me to split the document. In this case, if I choose the back order, it will do that. So as you can see, it's showing you a preview of the sale of the resulting sales documents and which lines will go on to which one. So as a result of the split, I will have a dot one and a dot two order uh, resulting from the split. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. As I click OK, um, it's going to process here for a second and and convert this document into um, my resulting uh, split documents. So you can see them here on the customer card under the open documents. So I'm going to open up the dot one in this case. As you can see, it only had the one item that, that was able to ship. The dot two, if we go to our related documents, you can see on, on the list of related documents, I have a, a two order, a dot two. And what this one contains is the item that was back ordered as a result of that split. So a situation this might bring up is wanting to print for example, a packing slip that shows all the items regardless of which shipped and which didn't. And I can print this by going to, to print, print my document, and uh, the summary packing slip in this case will, will prove useful. If I do a preview of this, I can see that this uh, dot one order is showing the items that were shipped as part of it, and then also it's going to show me which items are back ordered on a different order. In this case, it's my A100 item that is still on the um, 511 3.2 order. So that showed the manual way of splitting a sales document. It's also possible to split a sales document via the workflow when forwarding the document from one queue to the next, but stay tuned for our upcoming workflow video to see details on that. So to recap, um, we just went over how to split a document with uh, the manual sales document fulfillment plugin and how to print a unified summary packing slip. These two split documents allow us to ship and uh, apply payments to these separated documents that resulted from the split. Thanks for watching this video. This is Rob with SalesPay.